I strongly suggest you trash and throw away all of your prospect and softwares, your list scraping tools and all of that crap, because I'm going to show you how to make clients desperately come to you, not just tiptoe over there. They're going to come to you with the wallets open, thirsty as hell when I show you our process. We have three methods for doing this. OK, so a lot of you guys know me for AJU, the anti-job uh, university, but we have an agency called Profit Positioning Agency, and we don't scrape lists. We don't go and cold call. We don't door knock. We don't put out flyers. We don't run Facebook ads to get clients. I'm going to show you exactly what to do, and we're not going to send a thousand DMs either or set up complicated automated uh, software for funnels and all of that bull crap. Okay, so if you're an agency owner or you aspire to be, the agency to partner way of getting Getting these partnerships is what I'm going to show you today. All right. So the thought process is this. You want to control supply and demand. I'm going to show you a unique way of what that looks like. It's going to be a nice visual for what I'm talking about right here. But method one is to rank for their competitors' brand names plus their brand names. Okay. So this is for if you're trying to get a client or something like that, okay? You want to rank for their comp uh, competitors' brand names and their names. Now, what does this do? This causes a unique phishing effect. If you guys never saw this video before, I strongly suggest you do it. It's a great metaphor for uh, getting clients to come to you or to make it to where they don't have anywhere else to go. So this is called unique phishing using pump. So instead of you getting a poll and putting your bait on there and all of that bull crap, what she does is she just simply takes a pump there right? You see the pump and she takes all of the water out. So the fish don't have anywhere to hide. So she just literally just walks and puts the fish into the freaking dang on bucket. Now you guys will spend all day out there, hours and hours fishing, trying to get some damn fish when you can just make it to where they have nowhere else to go. So when we use this method to rank for the their competitors' brand names, and their brand name is similar to like a smoke bomb. Like if you were in the military, you know what I'm talking about, or, or a flesh out, okay? So you might know those terms. So let's come over to Google and see how that looks. All right, so watch this. All right, so we'll say uh, SEO for construction. SEO for construction, okay. All right, so we have this company right here called Space Digital. We have this company right here called Blue Corona. We have six city marketing. So what we want to do is we want to see if these companies, these SEO companies have uh, search traffic for their brand name. OK, why? Because they're spending most of their money and their their aggression to rank for this keyword SEO for construction because they're like, oh, man, I'm going to get some good deals. I'm going to get a good client. They got a huge budget if I rank for SEO for construction. But what they're what they're not realizing is the entire time that they're trying to build up enough authority to rank for this keyword is actually building up authority for their brand name. So if they have clients that's already paid them by now and through referrals and everything, it's going to be a lot of referral traffic, meaning people searching them by name, but they're not going to be using their budget for that, are they? Okay, so spaced digital. Let's see if that's a keyword. Space digital. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. SEO, space digital media. I think this is them right here. Let me see. Space digital. We're going to click on this one real quick. No, that's not them. Uh, maybe I got to put a dot. Let's see, space digital solutions. Is this them? I think this is them. I don't know. Online marketing strategies. Yeah, that's them right there. Okay, so boom. They have searches for their actual name. Now, let's see what's down here. Their LinkedIn is down here. Uh, Their Facebook is down here. And that's pretty much it. Like you don't have to compete with a million other SEO companies to rank, right? So they might be getting five to 10 referrals or people coming to search their brand name by uh, by the months, okay? So if you were to rank for their brand name and you do it in a versus format, so basically you'll structure the press release or the article like this, the reason Space Digital's 
clients are all rushing to profit positioning agency. That's going to make a client that was uh, potentially going to call them think twice and click to read the article. Like, well, I don't want to go to them if everybody else is rushing to somebody else, right? So this is literally how you can ethically siphon other people's clients to you as a marketing agency. So I should be charging for this, man. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to you guys. Pause, all right? So now we will do the same thing with Blue Corona and so on and so forth. So we'll see the searches, Blue Corona. Hey, look at it. Hey, 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 Charlotte. So I guess they're out of Charlotte. This is where their home base is from. Expert SEO services. So them, you know, their local address will be like easier to rank for. And as you can see, so you don't have to compete with a lot of different uh, um, experienced SEOs. You're only competing with them. <laughs> so you immediately cut all of the competition away when you go after your competitor's brand names. And who are these guys? They're for construction SEO, but that's not it. Remember, you want to control the supply and the demand. What do I mean by, ooh, now watch this. All right, so we'll go to where they at. They say they was in Charlotte, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. So we say construction, Charlotte Construction Company. Okay, so now what we want to do to be able to hijack uh, clients and make them come to us. All right, if we wanted to work with a, a construction company and like do the construction company's SEO or something like that, the best thing you could do, the best first impression you can present is money, okay? So what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of people don't believe you can do what you say you can do. They don't believe fat meat is greasy, so you just got to show them, Nendez, show them. So we're going to find, let's see, Messer Construction, Messer Construction. These are the competitors, but what we're trying to do is look for portfolios. Okay, here we go. Ooh wee So are you guys starting to get what I'm talking about now? If we start ranking for their competitors' projects, guess what's going to happen? P uh, people that need new construction are going to be searching them by brand. So we can literally hijack these projects and send them to the construction company that we actually want to work with. So we control the supply and the demand. The demand is this keyword right here. And then us were, uh, ranking for the other SEO construction companies' names as well. So we control the supply and the demand. So now they have to come to us. We hold the contracts for these huge projects now. Ooh-wee! And even if they didn't want to work with us, guess what we can do? We can drop service these construction projects and make potential millions. Oh, we, yes, Lord. Okay, so now, and you just make a list of all of the different construction companies and rank for their projects, their portfolios, their listings, all of that extra stuff. Because when people want to go and get new construction, they want to see the previous projects that they worked on. So these are like some of the most targeted so-called clients that's going to be looking for construction right here. If you can outrank this and you rank it saying, Messer construction projects versus profit positioning, you know, David's project. I'm just making some stuff up, guys. And then you put a comparison between uh, their projects on the page and you could have put a comparison uh, with your partner's projects on the page. You're going to generate crazy leads. Some people are still going to choose to go with these guys. But if your partner got some good skills or whatever and you can create the irresistible offer, then they'll probably choose that one. OK, so this is literally how easy it is to smoke bomb or flush out, make these so-called clients come to you. OK, so that's number one. Now, Next, method number two is to drown their rankings on directories. What do I mean that? Drown their rankings on directories. Uh, I first started this when I had my limo service champs uh, transportation company back in the day when they did not want to work with me. All right, so let's do this. We'll go to uh, Zillow, all right? And we'll say Zillow listings Atlanta. Okay. And let's see. What we'll do is we'll click on this right here. What we want to do is we want to find people that has sponsored um, ads and stuff on here. So it's, it's easy to do that. But what you want to do is you want to flush them out. 
by drowning them. All right. And this is literally what I did with the rank hostage method. So what I did, you're going to need like multiple accounts. Now, I'm just being real with you. You're not going to be able to create a crap load of accounts without like spending money and being like super technical and knowing how to manipulate VPSs, VPNs, and different things like that, IP addresses. But if you know how to do partnerships, then you can help. Let's say you're in Atlanta right now. You live in Atlanta. If you have, if, if you have um, five brothers, if you have five brothers, um, if you have five brothers, tell each of those brothers to create an account, okay? Tell each of those brothers to create an account and you all post listings on those accounts. So they'll look as if they're different accounts, uh, but they'll all be owned and run and managed by you, but all from different IP addresses, okay? So you'll be able to, the more people you know, let's say you got 10, 15 people on your team or whatever, you'll be able to flush out everybody else's list, okay? And you just continue doing that and you will you will control all of the leads that's on here. And, and no matter which one a, a so-called client, a person that want to buy a house, no matter which one they click on, is always going to lead to you. So you ain't got to worry about, oh man, what if uh somebody click on there and become a lead and I don't it, it don't convert. Okay, so if they click on this one, then come out of this one, and then come out of this one, then come out of this one, all of these are still going to be yours depending on how many partners you can make. So this is what I mean by uh, um, like pretty much dominating and flooding the directories. And you can do that on any directory for whatever the service is, Groupon, Thumbtack, all of that, Craigslist, all of that. They've been doing it on Craigslist for years, but it's like a little bit more difficult to do it on the other uh, platforms, okay? So you find these, these directories where your potential client is hanging out at and you flood your client out. You push them down to where they're not getting any leads anymore and you control all of the top leads and then you use the red carpet method where you start drip feeding them jobs and stuff like that. They have no choice but to take the crumbs from your table. Oh, yes, Lord. Okay, so now, hey, man, I'm just giving y'all everything. If you want to know exactly how we do this, if you want to know exactly how we do this, you can add an extra 200K per month to your agency without without adding new clients, plus enjoy equity benefits without investing in the businesses just by simply adding 10 monetization methods to your partners that are already profitable. They're already profitable and you can just plug into their businesses, start earning from day one if you know what you're doing, okay? All right, and that is in the agency to partner program right there. But anyway, we have one more. This is luring them out with exposés. Okay, see, I'm just getting y'all all of my dang on tricks. Giving y'all all of my tricks. All right, I hope y'all are grateful, man. Go ahead and hit a, a, a sidekick to the, to the subscription button, okay? So this is what I mean by luring them out with exposés. Back in the day when we were really trying to go after clients, I don't want to DM you and be in some hidden a uh, messenger box. I don't want to freaking like have to cold call you and get hung up on. I don't want to walk in and be told to get the hell out or you're not there. <laughs> I don't have time to scrape thousands of emails and set up instantly anymore and do all of that stuff. This stuff is for the birds. Guess what? You can literally just what I did was I found a realtor that's already spending money, whether that's on Google or one of these platforms that we were talking about. Then what I did was I found their flaws, figured out how I can help them, and then I strategically lured them out. So what do I mean by that? So what I did was I tagged in their friends that they were in conversations with in their comments, because if they're having full conversations in the comments, that means they know them offline. Friends always want credit for putting somebody up on game. So what I did was I tagged in the friends that more than likely can get straight to them by phone or DM. And I tagged in a competitor just in case she never gets to see this post or something like that. Right. And it would create a bidding, like an auction effect where that, that competitor would see what I'm going to do for Iris and be like, oh, hell no. Like, if he actually implements that stuff, then I ain't going to have no chance in hell in my city. So <laughs> I plugged in strategically some of their competitors and everything like that. And they were all reaching out. The friends, uh, the, the uh, Iris, and the freaking competitors 
and trying to figure out how to outbid each other. So, and guess what? You don't have to send millions of emails, hundreds of emails, all of that bull crap with the metrics you be seeing on these channels and stuff, man. Get out of here with that. That's trash. You can leave that alone. If you're going to do outbound, do it like this. You're like, huh? Outbound? Yes. I mean, I'm putting the video out. <laughs> so it's outbound, but it's bringing inbound leads. And guess what? I can do maybe one or two of these a day or even a week. And if I strategically tag the right people in the post, because word of mouth marketing is the best. All right. So in most of them, if you're tagging in the right cities and you're putting in the right hashtags, most of them know each other. Right. So who's going to want to be left behind? Right. So I'm going to get somebody. So what if you could just post one of these a day, one or two of these a day and have all of these people coming to you um, like with, with, with their wallets open? Now, check this out. Good. Look, look, what you do is you display your skills. And, and this is before Instagram. Like these are old. You can look how old, look at how long ago this was right here. This is before Instagram allowed you to upload five, 10 minute freaking videos and stuff, right? So that's why I had to break them up in little sections. But technically you can upload like a little mini, mini webinar on this mug now, displaying your skills and showing your testimonials. Everything that you would normally do in some stupid email follow-up or text sequence or DM sequence or something, you can do it in the freaking video itself. That way, when they reach out, this is like your own infomercial. When they reach out, it's just to order, it's, it's to make an order. You can put the price inside the video, all of that, all of that. And they can watch it over and over until they pretty much understand and trust what you're talking about. So that is the method to allure them out with exposés. It's called an expose, like, you know, kind of like in journalism or the news or whatever, because you're exposing publicly what's wrong with their business. And um, most people... Don't make a move if it's private. That's why they can hang up on you when you cold call them because they think nobody else see their problems. That's why uh, they'll ignore you in the DMs because they think nobody else see their problems. But if you do this publicly exposing ethically without slander their issues and how they can be better in everything, right? And you tag in their friends that have responsibility to be be uh, kind, gentle, and helpful to them. You tag those people in and you tag in their competitors. Dog, someone's going to pay you. Guys, this video right here just gave you literally everything you need to make money with some type of marketing agency. Everything you need to get people to actually come to you with the wallets open. Don't be afraid to say your price is in your content. Nobody's, no, we're not finna get on some uh, consultation call and see if we're some type of fit and all of that procrastination bull crap. No, we're not going to just sit and waste time. Do you get a consultation call when you want to go to get an all chain? No, you just go and pay for it. When you want to go buy a box of cereal for your kids at the grocery store, do you need a consultation for that? No, you don't. You guys are training people to be fearful, uh, uh, procrastinators, and, and indecisive. I'm not finna, I'm not about to do all of this hard work trying to finally get you on a call uh, just for you to still not know if you want to do this. So first of all, uh, if we get on some call, you're going to pay for that consultation. It's not going to be some free uh, uh, talk. And then you go talk to your partner about it or your wife, and then we'll see if we're good. No, 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 no. Uh, before we talk, you're going to have to be a customer of something, buy my book or something. All right. So that's exactly how it goes, guys. So those are the three ways that you can make clients desperately come to you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, go and join the agency to partner community where, like I said, without adding new clients, you can add new income streams to yourself and the current clients that you do have.